Well, hello again, lovely people, curl friends, and guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and make sure you click the bell right next to the subscription button, and that way you'll get a video. You'll get a notification every time I do a video, okay? And for those of you who have been hanging in there with me, thank you so much. Thank you for all of the advice. Thank you for all the words of encouragement. <laughs> I really appreciate it. This has been quite the journey, hasn't it? All right. So today I want to talk to you about my very first wash and go. So if you want to know how I achieved this, just hang in there and uh, don't go anywhere. And I'll come back and tell you about that in a minute. So let me just jump into how I achieved this look. First of all, let me say this is my very first time ever doing a wash and go. I didn't, well, it's the first time I did it and it was somewhat successful and I'll tell you why I say that. The first time I did it, I thought all I had to do was wash my hair. You know, condition, <laughs> condition it, wash it, condition it. That's it. That's all I did. And I ended up with a fro, right? So... But then I saw this guy on YouTube, I think he's a trichologist and a cosmetologist, and he was doing this girl's hair, and I can't think of what his name is now, but I think his name is Derek or something. Anyway, he was doing this lady's hair, and she felt like she didn't have a curl pattern. All she had was an afro, and he said, you have a curl pattern. He said, there are some women that really don't have much of a curl pattern, but you're not one of those women, and then he went through the whole thing of explaining about dry hair and how very much it needs moisture and all this and a lot of the different things that, that you and I have probably heard on YouTube but he he made it concise he brought it all together where it made sense and you didn't feel like you were just chasing information and this person says this and this person said that and this person said this and this person said that and none of it seemed to work for you I just did sort of what he said but anyhow I wanted to show you how it turned out now, I can't turn around in here because what you see, this is my bathroom. I'm in an RV and it's like really tiny. So I can't really like turn around. I will try to um, upload some pictures in between uh, so that you can see. But I just want to tell you what I did. Yesterday I had this ginormous afro, as you saw. If you've been following my channel, you saw that. And if you haven't, just click the video next to this one. And... So I washed my hair in this, uh, I've used this before, I told you guys about this before, it's Conditioning Cleanser for Severely Dry Hair by Salon Graphics, okay? And it's a co-wash. So I washed my hair in that. It doesn't suds, and that's one of the things that he said. Stay away from shampoos that make suds because suds strip the oil out of your hair. If you're already dealing with chronically dry hair, you don't need something that's going to strip it, you know, the um, oils, sorry, out of your hair. So I thought, okay, I'm going to use the co-wash. So I used that co-wash. It's the only one I have. And then um, I saw Natural 85, I think it was, when she was doing her hair. She washed her hair, but then she oiled her hair while she was in the shower. So I thought, well, let me go get some olive oil. So I went and got my olive oil. And I just have this little tiny space here. So I thought, now how am I going to do this? Because I didn't want to get water in my bottle. So I just took the top off and dumped it on top of my head. <laughs> Rubbed it in. Okay. Then it was too oily. And I thought, okay now. So, so I turned the water up a little bit higher uh, and tried to wash some of the oil out. Yeah, it wasn't going. So I thought, okay. So then... I had my trusty leave-in uh, restorative shampoo with argan oil. This is a Canadian uh, line, so if you're not in Canada, you probably won't be able to get this unless you go on Amazon uh, and find it there. But that has no sulfates in it. So I just did a light washing, 
and got most of the oil out of it, out of my hair. Okay, cool. So after I got the most of that oil out of my hair, I didn't want to get it all out, but after I got most of the oil out, then I closed my cuticle by using aloe vera juice. This has a very little bit of water in it, but it's aloe vera juice and it was in the refrigerator. So that was a shocker. So I was spraying that on my hair uh, to make the cuticle close up before I went to my next step. And also I wanted to say that um, the shampoo, I, I don't know what I said. I said leave-in. It's not a leave-in. It's a shampoo that you wash out and it's live clean. That's what I meant to say about the shampoo. Okay, there you go. So then, so then I remembered him saying your hair has to be soaking wet, soaking wet. He said, you know, um, because you need the water to drag on it so that your curl pattern will show up. And I'm thinking, really? So <laughs> anyway, so I, next I took my leave-in conditioner and this time I used Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Leave-In. Um, I decided to use this because I hadn't done it in a while and I had a little bit of of uh, shedding going on so I put that in and it was I mean and he said be generous be very generous with the conditioner okay so I took globs of that and put that in and then remember this my homemade gel solution so I took handfuls of this rubbed it into my hair raked it through raked it through raked it through and then he says, shake your head like a dog in the shower. So I went and hung my head over the shower and did some head banging, <laughs> did some doggy shaking, and here you go. Now my challenge is that I went to the store out of town last night because we don't have one here to get a diffuser or a hair dryer, not a hair dryer, but a, what do you call it? Yeah, a hair dryer thing. Anyway, and I forgot it. So yeah, that store is two hours away. But anyway, so it's going to shrink um, because it was a little bit bigger than this before I got on here. But I wanted to show y'all how it is. I can't believe. See, especially right here in the front, I could not get this to do anything. If you remember, I was saying the gray is like a nightmare. I couldn't, I couldn't get it to do anything except bush up. And he said it has to be very, very wet and that you have to put a lot of uh, conditioner on it. And the conditioner will cause the curls to start popping out. And that's exactly what happened. So I am... I'm really glad about that, and uh, perhaps the next time I get into town, I can uh, pick up a diffuser or something like that. And uh, he also said if you pull your hair out um, and stick the diffuser in and put it on cool or whatever, just dry the roots to keep your hair from shrinking. And, uh, you know, so, hey, makes sense to me. So anyway, let me know what you do. Um, I'd like to see some of your washing goes if you email that to me. I can uh, put up your picture or something, you know, and show you off to people. But anyhow, I will try to put up a couple of pictures of the back. Let me see. Maybe I can just... Uh, I'll see if I can turn around. I don't want to knock my computer over. I don't know if you can see that. That's the best I can do. So anyway, so that's my good news for today. Thank you for coming by. And if you have any tips, tell me what you do uh, for your wash and go. This is my first time doing it. And um, I was trying to explain it to my husband. He looked confused. <laughs> I tried to tell him that going natural was actually more work than it was to have relaxed hair. So I think he's starting to see that now. But anyway, um, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the channel with your friends, and I will see you the next time I come on. And, if, and above everything else, just try to keep it.